guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing well, because I'm doing pretty well today. So, let's just get on with things and go through all this businessy stuff, and then I'll tell you about how my week's been. So, first off, the schedule. Um, as you know, I've been attempting to get done all the Super Junior tutorials and finish up all the fingertip tutorials, which I have over the over Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. No, Monday and Tuesday. I've been working really hard to finish up all these dance tutorials, which I did. And now I'm just in the process of editing them, so you'll be seeing them throughout the week and such. Probably next week as well. And now after all of that, I will be putting out Love Whisper by next week. So yay! Everyone rejoice! I did it! I learned a um, G-Friend dance that didn't take like three months to do. It took me like... I'd say a good week of writing it up and then a good week of dancing it. So yay! I wish I had a bit more time, but I'm kind of on a time restraint because I have to go back, because I had to go back to Fort Collins for a meeting, and then I have to, then I come back, and then I came back here, and then, and then go back tomorrow to Saturday, back to school. I mean, I'm really happy to go back, be, well, you know, happy in that I get to see all my friends and stuff and not be so isolated at home. But, yeah. So excited! Yay! And then after that, I... Since I did the Catch You um, dance cover, I'm thinking of just doing a really quick tutorial for that, so that'll happen probably the week after Love Whisper. And then Mamma Mia you know, and then I'll get back to a normal schedule, which is Mamma Mia, and then April Story, and then I'm gonna s try to squeeze in Signal by twice somewhere, but, you know, it's a little iffy there, but definitely it's going to be finish off Fingertip, finish off Love Whisper, and then get Catch You Down, and Mamma Mia for sure. So, there's no poll as of right now, don't worry, because next week is actually when I'm going to start doing polls again, and I'm going back to kind of easier dances to dance in a very small area, so probably, yeah. Yeah, I'm back in my apartment. It might be the opposite, because I'm kind of on the other side of the hall, but it'll still be mirrored. And it'll probably still be the same very small deal. So I don't really have much comments, but I have to thank you guys for all the requests because I've gotten so many dance requests this week. It's kind of crazy. And thank you for all the comments on the Mr. Simple dance tutorial and cover. It makes me really happy because it's my absolutely favorite song and I'm like, ah! So yeah, thank you. So now let's get on to how my week's been and then I have a little something special at the end. So how my week's been. So Monday and Tuesday I've pretty much been kicking my ass and finishing all these tutorials, which I did. So I had Bonum well I, I had Bonum on it to finish. I had two fingertips, fingertip tutorials to finish, and I had Love Whisper to do, so that's four tutorials. So basically I did two tutorials each day, and my throat was killing me by the end of it, so yeah. But I'm done, so yay, let's all rejoice, I finally got, I'm finally kind of up to date on G-Friend stuff, yay! Well, on the main stuff, you know. Wednesday I hung out with some friends before I leave Colorado Springs to go back up to Fort Collins to go back to school and be all, ah, you know, that kind of thing. 
And then Thursday, I went back up to Fort Collins for a meeting for my TA position, which makes me super happy. Um, I'm like really excited and really nervous at the same time again. Um, not the best talker, but hopefully, you know, from YouTube I can teach, you know, people one of my absolutely favorite subjects, even though it took me so much effort to learn anything in that class, so yeah, I'm excited and nervous. And today is Friday, which is crazy because that means that I am leaving tomorrow to absolutely permanently stay there for like four months, three months, four or three months until Thanksgiving break. Which is crazy because I'm gonna miss my dancing space, guys! <sighs> I'm so sad. I wish I could stay here all year, but I can't because school-wise. Because my dancing space. Guys, I want a bigger dancing space. So I was discussing this with my mom, and it's kind of... So... Throughout this summer, I've been thinking about like uh, what I'm doing after I graduate, you know, like going to graduate school, getting a job and stuff like that. And then, just, you know, out of personal reasons why, I'm just, I just blurt out to my mom and I'm just like, you know what, when I become rich and maybe famous, I want to make my own dance studio in my own house with enough space because throughout these what it's been three years three years doing this oh my gosh I want more space even the one at home isn't like as spacious as you think it is like there's not enough room towards the front I mean there's plenty towards the side and I can deal with that but I just wish I had more space. So, once I own a house and once I get rich, that's gonna happen. It's absolutely gonna happen. So, since I have made this video kind of shortish, I'm gonna add something special just for just for this one because you know I'm going away from my beautiful dance space and my home, and I'm gonna miss my mom and stuff. This is farewell to summer and the start of my school fall semester. So, for that, I'm gonna set in five minutes, and I know people have been asking me to talk about myself and stuff like that, so... Yeah, I'm gonna give myself five minutes to talk about myself. And start! So, hi! If you guys don't know, my name is Stephanie Tay. Yes, it looks like what you think it is. It looks like the English word, the, you know, the article that kind of goes almost in front of almost every noun. So, what I'm here to say is that it's not, it's spelt like the, but it's pronounced Tay. I'm sorry to say, guys, but it's true. You know, my dad just chose the strangest spelling of a Chinese name, and it's K for some reason, but it's not the, it's not the, it's not T, it's not to hey, I've gotten to hey, it's not that, it's not any variation of the, of the, but it's actually like T. Funny story, actually. Um, So, I was born in Fort Worth, Texas, and I moved up to Colorado, Colorado when I was in, I think, fourth grade. Fourth grade. I think I was 11, 10, 10 or 11, I was, I moved up here, and it was all for skating purposes. Um, yes, and... I started ice skating when I was in Texas, actually, when I started when I was like five or six or something like that, and skating is 
rough. Can I just say that skating is absolutely one of the roughest, scariest, um, sports out there. It's like so competitive and you have to think mostly about yourself and it's so expensive. Oh my god. And also, um, yeah. Skating was an interesting time in my life. Um, I kind of detached from the world from that because, you know, everyone was pretty much a jerk in ice skating and I just wasn't in a really good environment, let's say. So throughout my years I've been like pretty much not, I'm, I don't really like a lot of people, so. But I've been attempting to get out of my shell, be nice, you know, interact. Mostly YouTube's helping me with this, which I'm super grateful for, for starting. But yeah, that's mostly why I'm kind of an introvert and not the greatest, you know, person talker because mm, I think skating kind of ruined my social life, was pretty much for me. So yeah, more of my skating stuff, so I first started out at a ice skating rink in Blue Line, it was called Blue Line, and I was skating under a very scary Russian coach. Remember, I was like five or six years old by here, and I was so scared because, you know, Rush Russian ladies are very stern and know stern and when you're a kid it's kind of intimidating and then after that I went to a place called uh I think it was, I know that it was in Euless Texas but my sister and I called it um, useless because we absolutely just hated the place <laughs> mostly that the coaches were just absolute jerks and mostly only paid attention to their kids and throughout the years it kind of went like our training went from here to about there and yeah it wasn't very good you know skaters get jealous and then they pay more money and then you get less attention and then uh, it's complicated and then after that um we decided to move to colorado to go to a different ice rink which if you don't know um this is this is um from world arena it's called i'm gonna keep going because that's not enough since i'm in the middle of this so we started training at a place called um world arena which in colorado is a really famous ice rink and I had a lot of coaches. Two of them I really didn't like because they were really scary or really just eh. And then I had like the best spin coach ever. She was awesome. She taught me how to spin and do all these cool tricks while I was spinning. So yeah. Man, I miss her. She's great. And then I had this awesome choreographer for like the last last year last year of my my ice skating years um she was so cool and she just made the most absolute best choreography ever for ice skating in my opinion so yay i really liked her and i really liked my spin coach so that's pretty much all I can dig up as of right now, and it's been past five minutes, you could say, so. I hope you know a little bit more about me, so, born in Texas, came here to Colorado because of ice skating reasons, became a crazy huge inter introvert who doesn't really go outside because of, probably because of skating and such, and because of my nature anyways so yeah that's a little bit about me and I hope we can hope I can do this you know more if you can I don't know also guys I promised you a live stream 
talk about, you know, ask me questions about myself and stuff like that, but I never got to it because I've been busy finishing up tutorials and stuff, so I will attempt to do live stream when I get back to school. It'll probably be on the weekend because college student weekends are really my only free time, so yeah. I will try to get that live stream up and I will get those tutorials up in the next few weeks. So let's all be excited because we're coming I'm coming back to normal schedule, so yay! Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you learned a little bit more about myself today. About me today. And it kind of seems a little conceited. I don't really like talking about myself, but you guys asked for it, so here it is, and yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe for more videos like this. That would be awesome. And I'll see you guys next week.